I, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. I, Lyndon Baines Johnson, do solemnly swear. I, Richard Bilhouse Nixon, do solemnly swear. I, George Walker Bush, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. Leaders, protectors, history makers. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Many presidents have left their mark from this high office, and the actions they take decide the fate of millions of Americans. So help me God. So help me God. So help me God. So help me God. Reagan came in, and he was able to really resonate that he could make a difference. In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. He tried to communicate this idea that individuals have the power to, to create their own destiny and that the individual could achieve great things. The legacy that Reagan left behind really depends on, on who you're asking. Reagan's actions during the Cold War helped push back the Soviet Union. If history teaches anything, it teaches that simple-minded appeasement or wishful thinking about our adversaries is folly. We seek neither confrontation nor conflict, but to avoid both, we must remain strong and determined to protect our interests. While the public has regarded Reagan quite favorably, historians are a little bit more critical because of the long-term economic impact.